Hi and welcome to the Easy Yards Premier League video cast as we come off the back of an international week and the back also of a Champions League Europa Cup week as well. So four tremendous games to pass on to you. And uh, with me is the one and only, the Easy Odds editor. He, we call him the Mad Dog here at Easy Odds headquarters. Why? Well, he's barking mad. Uh, Ross Casey with me. Uh, I have to look forward to four tremendous games. And as always, everything is free here on EasyOdds.com with news of another announcement with the new app. Yep, finally, um, in our next release of the app, which is likely to come either next week or the week after that, we are finally having our editorial on the app. So people yes. that have downloaded the app and used the app to get the best bets... Finally, not only can you get a bet basket, which you can't get on the on the desktop site to make it a best price accumulators, you can now read our tips and make sure that you get the best tips as well as those best odds, including when we hit our 1,075 to 1 Football League um, Aki at the start of the season, which we're still hanging on to, and we probably will do until probably, what, 10 years time? Oh, I would have thought so. And remember, <laughs> compared to our big, uh, I suppose, rivals, you could call them, I'll whisper it, we do have award-winning tipsters on our website, unlike oddschecker.com. Right, let's have a look at four games. Let's go Rossi to lunchtime. Yeah. Uh, Chelsea versus Arsenal. I never thought I'd say this. 17th plays fourth, can you believe it? And Chelsea have conceded more goals at Stamford Bridge than they've scored. Um, are the warning signs still there for them? Uh, they are still there. I'm not sure that you can read too much into their 4-0 win over Maccabee Tel Aviv in the Champions League. That's not a great... Um, team to be up against so I'm going to actually say to continue the um, form of not winning games back Arsenal in the Arsenal draw no bet market at 69 to 15 meaning that you get your stake back for a draw or you win the whole stake for an Arsenal win mm -hmm. um, and why are we stay, um, saying that Chelsea will um, not win this match here's, here's the reasons they've already beaten uh, Chelsea in the Community Shield in a slightly scrappy 1-0 win at Wembley so that's going to give Arsene Wenger some confidence because that's only his first win in 14 up against Jose Mourinho, his old sure. rival. I'm sure there'll be a bit more argy-bargy on the uh, aye, touchline. Aye. Um, <laughs> Let's hope so. Arsenal have only let in five goals this season. T -t Two of those were in the Champions League away at Zagreb. Zagreb did well to beat uh, Arsenal team, but Arsenal did uh, rest players such as Coquelin and Bellerin, two players that are vital this season. I hope for this match that they'll start Theo Walcott, a player that I tipped anti-post to, to be top scorer at 33-1. to one. Good shout. He's only um, scored one this season, but he's only started one game. And if he starts games, he scores. He's started it, his last 11 matches for Arsenal, and he's scored 11 goals. That's a one-in-one -one ratio. That's pretty darn good, I'd say. Um, so, Arsene, if you're listening, please start playing Arsene Vega, not least for the reason to start lining my pockets with that 33-1 uh, to one anti-post tip. Um, so, yeah, that's my tip there. I think Chelsea are struggling defensively. They've let in 13 goals in their opening five encounters in the Premier League, which is just unheard of for that back line that was so stout last mm -hmm. season. Mm -hmm. I still think they've got issues there. So I think Arsenal 6-9 to 50 in the draw no bet market there is the best bet. OK, there you go. Uh, normally uh, odds against or thereabouts and sometimes some pretty sexy big prices here on the Premier League video cast. Let's move to the later kickoff. We're going to be going up to the city of Manchester, where City take on West Ham United first versus fifth. Uh, West Ham United, the Jekyll and Hyde team of the Premier League so far this season. Uh, but they're going to have to cut through the swathe here because Man City have yet to concede a single goal in the Premier League. They have yet to concede a goal in the Premier League, but on a... Um... On Tuesday night, they managed to um, throw away yet another lead in the Champions League and come away with no points, which is a concern for Man City fans, I'm sure, as they cannot seem to um, show their, for their Premier League form in, in Europe. They're a bit naive at, at this point. But in the Premier League, as you point out, Paul, they are very, very good this season. They've won five. They've le they are yet to concede a goal. But they're going to get a test this time around because not least is their captain and their colossus at the back, Vincent Company, injured, Company. which means that Martin Demichelis will probably come in into deputise for him he's not nowhere near as good as him he's no company he's not good he's company, company. <laughs> he's, not good, he's not good company for um, Mangala at the back Mangala. there well, um, so I actually think the best bet here is to go both teams to score Man City haven't um, sorry Man City have only failed to score listen to this at um, the Etihad back in August 2014 was the last time that they didn't score a goal do you know who was that 
who that was up, Absolutely up no idea. It was against the mighty back line of Stoke. Uh, oh. Stoke managed to get a 1-0 win at Etihad in August 2014. And since then, Man City have scored in every Premier League tie at, at the Etihad. So, so I'm backing them to score. Okay. But I'm also backing West Ham to score. West Ham have played two matches away from home so far this season. Beat Liverpool 3-0 away from home. Beat Arsenal 2-0 away from home. Can they go to the, to the top of the league and win this game? I'm not entirely sure. So I think backing them to score a goal at, at, at the very least for a team that have scored more goals in the Premier League than anyone else is a pretty good tip there. So both teams to score an almost even price of 91-100 to 100 is my best tip on the Saturday evening game. OK, there we go. So we've done Chelsea-Arsenal. We've had a look at Manchester City against West Ham United. Let's move on to... Another London derby uh, at White Hart Lane. It's Tottenham Hotspur. Well, I like to call them Tottenham Hotspur. All these youngsters call them Spurs. Let's get it right. Tottenham Hotspur against Crystal Palace as 12th meets 6th place. And Spurs yet to win at home this season. Yeah, Tottenham, as you say, um, is the right way to go about it. But they've got it all wrong in the Premier League this season, in my view. And the bookies have got it wrong here as well. Because the bookies on the fixed odds... Um, Matrix on our odds comparison website I've got a best price of 19 to 20 an odds on price t for Tottenham to win Tottenham have had two matches at home this season one neither Crystal Palace have played two matches away from home this season one both why on earth have the bookies made Tottenham favourites to win this game it's a I reputation have, thing is it? it has to be a reputation I have no idea how um, they are favourites to win this game so that's the reason that my best bet here is to actually go to the exchange bet in sites on our um, matrix and lay them at 2.00. I think there's plenty of reasons to back Palace to get get something out, out of this game, including the fact that in the last six matches at White Hart Lane, they've only lost once. So you add that into the fact of their newer um, records, where they've won two, including a very decent win away from home at um, Chelsea. Yeah. They're a team that are set up to play counter-attacking football. They've got pace to burn with the likes of Sacco, Balassi, Punch and players like that, or to um, attack at pace when when um, Tottenham will, will will lose the ball. So I think that laying Tottenham at 2.00 is the best price there. I can't see any reason why they're favourites to win. They've only won one match this season. That was a, a pretty dogged 1-0 win at Sunderland. I think a lot of teams will win at Sunderland this season. For sure. Um, so I can't really understand why. Plus they've got one eye on the... Europa League tie tonight as we're recording this on the Thursday so um, they're going to have to play quite a few players on the Thursday and then the Sunday and as we've also seen throughout the years teams playing in that Europa League suffer on the Sunday when they play in the oh, Premier League hugely. Um, and another reason is the absolutely brilliance of Crystal Palace's set plays no team has scored more goals since Alan Pardew joined um, from set plays than the Crystal Palace. That's 16 in total from, wow. from our set play. So I think another little cheeky bet here is um, Scott Dan, 12-1 to 1 at any time scorer. With the set place um, of Johan Kabai now at the club, as, as a brilliant um, player to be sending in balls. And you've got a very um, strong centre-half who likes to win headers, and he's already scored once this season. 12-1, to 1, I think there is a pretty good price. I'd love to get a price on Scott Dan to... Either score or be sent off in the game. I think that would be, <laughs> it's the, either or, it's either or. Would be the perfect combination, <laughs> wouldn't it? That's Spurs versus Crystal Palace. Let's move on to our final live preview game of the weekend. We're going down to St Mary's. It's Southampton versus Manchester United as 11th take on third in the league. And United, having looked through the records earlier on, have a tremendous record at St Mary's. Uh, the last three Premier League matches, they've won two, drawn one, have been large aggregate winners if you add up the scores. Uh, but they're coming back after a disappointing uh, defeat in the middle of the week in the Champions League. Yeah, there was um, some dreadful news for Man United fans with their lauded return to the Champions League. Everyone was expecting them to win, myself included, and they came away with no points from their match against PSV. Plus a left-back who's likely to be out for the whole season now after a horrendous injury, Luke Shaw. Um, best wishes to him. Um, so they're likely to have Daley Blind move across to, to the left, who's not a bad player in that position. He's um, naturally left-footed, isn't he? He's naturally um, left-footed, so that suits him. And the reason that I'm going to back Man United to win this game, as you um, said, is their excellent record at St Mary's. 
going even further back than the stats that Paul gave you, they played 10 times at the St. Mary's Stadium and only lost once, which wow. is pretty darn good, I'd say. Um, and I listen to this fun, slightly weird stat. Louis van Gaal and Ronald Coleman have faced each other as managers four times so far in their managerial careers, and every single time the away team has won. Okay. Fancy that for a stat, and I'm backing that trend to continue with six to four best price, Man United to win. Um, Southampton have only won two of their last 11 Premier League games. They're struggling to maintain their excellent run of last season. Um, they seem to have bought a lot of players in, and they're not entirely bedded in yet. Um, so I'm going to back Man United to win here at 6-4. They've, they've um, signed Anthony Martial. There was a lot of talk about him, who when he signed, um, me included, I have to admit. But having seen him play for the last two games, he adds dynamism to a Man United team that was pretty pedestrian before his arrival. So I think he's a good signing, especially away from home. Um, so I think 6-4 to four on, a, on a Man United win there is decent odds. And don't forget that amazing stat that the away manager wins when those team. Um, when those two managers meet so that's my best tip there 6-4 to four on the away team Man United to continue their great St Mary's form on the, on the Sunday um, afternoon game at Southampton good stat really good stat don't forget of course top 10 football league tips is live on site now you can also read the column of Angus Stato Locker on this weekend's horse racing as well there is a whole lot going on on easyodds.com and more stay with us more importantly have a safe and hopefully a profitable weekend as well.